Once is enough to make me attack. Amy Winehouse embraced the past in both her style and her music. I just really like that 60s girl group thing where uh, they're very all or nothing, they're very um, dramatic. Her dramatic offstage life, along with her throaty vocals, rocketed the British musician to international pop star status in 2007. All the while, she chronicled her troubled life in her lyrics. Perhaps her most familiar track, Rehab, seemed in one song to capsulize the public perception and attraction of Winehouse, desperately in need of help, seemingly defiant in her refusal. I don't really care enough about what people think of me to conform to anything. Born in London in September 1983, Amy Winehouse was expelled from a prestigious performing arts school in London and became a picture of tattooed teenage rebellion. But in 2003, the 19-year-old recorded her critically acclaimed debut album, Frank, and the singer-songwriter was on her way to stardom. I'm my own man, so when we learn... By 2007, her second album, Back to Black, was an international hit. Rehab made number nine on the U.S. pop charts. And that's when newspapers began documenting Winehouse's erratic public behavior and volatile relationship with music video assistant Blake Fielder Civil. The couple married in May 2007. And three months later, Winehouse canceled her North American tour amid reports that she was entering rehab for alcohol and drug addiction. Her new management stated it was due instead to severe exhaustion. Afterward, her father made a public plea for her to seek treatment. The problems continued when in December 2007, pictures of a distressed-looking Winehouse outside of her London home were published in the Sun newspaper. And in January 08, a video allegedly showing Winehouse smoking crack cocaine surfaced on the internet. And the Grammy goes to Amy Winehouse. A month later, citing her, quote, use and abuse of narcotics, the U.S. State Department denied her a visa. Two days before the awards, the visa was granted, but it was too late for her to appear in person at the Grammys in Los Angeles. That's where Rehab and other deeply personal tracks like Tears Dry on Their Own went on to win her five awards. The 24-year-old was treated at a London hospital in June 2008 for what her father, Mitch Winehouse, ultimately said was breathing difficulties, early emphysema symptoms he blamed on her habit of smoking cigarettes and drugs. A rehab stint just this year apparently didn't take. In June, a Belgrade, Serbia audience booed Winehouse off the stage after she struggled to get through her songs. It was the first show of a European tour she ultimately canceled and the last impression she would give to her fans worldwide. You know, I don't write songs because I want my voice to be heard because I want to be famous or any of that stuff. I, I write songs about, about things that I have problems with and I have to get past them.